Hey guys, welcome to my video. So tonight's video is on this really old motor. I think I made it probably back in 2001. Um, it's just a simple little pulse motor. It has four four magnets on the rotor. There's a little coil down there. I don't even remember how many turns, but it was 26 gauge. And then I have a little tiny reed switch right here. Um, a lot of people um, don't always like them because they, they can burn out if you use too much power. But if you keep the the motor you know like 50 milliamps or so um, the switches are pretty amazing they they um, turn on and off real fast and you can get a pretty high voltage spike out of it and um, so I have a little switch for on and off and then for output on and off and we're just using a regular 9 volt battery um, I originally set it up these aren't rechargeable but you get the rechargeable batteries and you can run one and charge one off this side and um, it's a neat little concept. So um, on this one, we come around. Um, instead of charging a battery, I made this little cap dump right here. And um, this one is on my website, kenergy.store. Um, if any of you are interested, it's just a simple little one. It has a neon trigger, so we get to about 80 volts, and then it triggers and triggers the um, transistor. And in this case, it's going to run this light bulb, and um, the light bulbs. 4 watts, 120 volts, you know, LED, and um, yeah, we'll get this thing started up. So here's some of the some of the other cap dumps. They're getting really nice, so you guys should check out the store. So let's fire this thing up. Obviously, it can't really run anything, but it's just a cool little little toy, basically. But um, what's interesting is that. Um, even though we're capturing the spike, we still have almost 100 volts. So if we turn this down, so here's here's 9 volts, so it's 10 volts per square. And then this is when it triggers off. So put this back up. And then if we turn the output off, see now we're 220 volts um, off this little, little 9 volt battery. So yeah, we're averaging between... 42 and 55 so it's about um, 0.4 watts or half a watt little little toy motor so let's turn this back on so as we charge up um, we get up to about 80 volts and then starts triggering so with the light bulb it, it, the light bulb has a delay to turn on so um, the neon kind of comes on early as that's starting to turn on but um, yeah pretty cool So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the output off and then we're going to hook up this battery, which is pretty cool. Let's hit this little guy. So, so the battery 12693. You can see it kind of bounce up. So pretty neat because this is, you know, this is a 3.3 .3 amp hour battery, but you know, it's still this little tiny cap dump can still move the voltage on it a little bit. So pretty cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out my store.